How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z with the Shaving Cadre. Today's review day and we're going to be reviewing Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Doppelganger. So this is their black label and this is in their new CK6 formulation and uh, I've shaved with this for the past few days using a variety of uh, different br uh, shaving brush bristles. So I've used Synthetic, you guys saw that that shave. Uh, I've used bore brush. I've used uh, premium badger brush, one of my paladins. Um, and today we're going to be using another synthetic, and that is the 24 millimeter cashmere. So mixed results. Um, we're going to be doing a full review, giving scores and everything at the end of the shave. Um, Unless something drastic happens today during a shave, most likely um, there's going to be some people that aren't very that don't agree with my uh, my rating. Um, but we'll see um, how the shave turns out. What else we're going to be using today? We're going to be using uh, my Ico. This is a six eighths. This is a near wedge quarter quarter hollow um, type grind. Um, so <clears throat> that being said, so for those of you who haven't seen my previous video on the uh, Doppelganger Black, uh, this is modeled after Dior Sauvage. Um, here are Sauvage's scent notes right here. And the CK6 formula um, <clears throat> is right here. So this is, uh, it's fairly extensive. Uh, they did a lot of uh, testing and uh, beta testing of the CK6 formula um, and released it later in 2018. Um, and it got very high marks across the community. Um, I was pretty excited to try it, um, but I will say that um, after having used it uh, for a few shaves now, um, it's just not performing for me uh, as well as some other people. I'm hoping that will change today. Um, so let's see. Okay, over here, my brush nice and uh, taken out. <clears throat> Hope everybody's week is going well. second load taking a note from you guys a little less load um, I did bloom it a little bit not as much bloom water as I normally use um, I found that the more water you add initially the more airy it gets so I'm trying to keep the air down and I've found that just adding water very slowly um, is the best way to get a decent lather out of this. I've done a couple of uh, test lathers <clears throat> and it doesn't take much to get this to um, that airy status that I'm not a real big fan of. In general <clears throat> what I found is that the, the type of lather this is it does it's not going to be your your creamy type lather that you see out of <clears throat> your declaration grooming um, grooming department holy cow Ariana and Evans it's going to be a different type of lather it is going to have a bit more air in it but you can actually get it to a somewhat creamy consistency with a little bit of work Super Bowl Sunday coming up. 
excited for that. Who's everybody? Who does everybody think is going to win? And why? Leave a comment in the thread or in the uh, in the comment section. Love to hear your thoughts on that. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I'm a Patriots fan. I was born and res raised a Patriots fan, um, but I try to be lo a low-key Patriots fan, unlike a lot of people out there. Very vocal. I find those people to be obnoxious, just like most other fans. Kind of in the same way that I find Giants fans in general are obnoxious. there. One of the other things the spray bottle, um, and I haven't touched on this, one of the other things the spray bottle does is because it's a, actually a pressurized stream of water going into the soap, it tends to break down some of the bubbles, so it does some of your work for you um, as far as defeating some of the larger air bubbles. All right, so today, because it is review day, it's only going to be a one pass. You guys are only going to see one pass. I will do um, a full three pass shave. Um, and yeah, so I'll be right back. I'm going to do my hot towel. Um, and when I get back, we'll do our, our pass one. Uh, I'll talk a little about, a bit about the quality of the soap on my face and what I've experienced over the past three, four days with the shaves. And then we'll break again and go into the review where I'll give my scores. So, we do a hot towel and I'll be back in a second. See you, see you then, guys. All right, guys, let's get into this. So, strength of sun. It's on the strong side. So, three and a half, maybe four once you're lathered. Um, off of the tub it's on the weaker side so I'd say two. So it blooms quite a bit once you lather it. Of course that's to my nose, everybody else might be different. Uh, it's all a matter of perception. So, thoughts about the soap and the performance. So, cushion is definitely not something that I've had an issue with with this soap. It actually has extremely good cushion. Uh, I would put it in the excellent to elite range. shave slickness um, I've had mixed results with some shaves and lathers it's been excellent and others it's been lacking post shave is quite nice.
all the extra butters and everything that they put in um, really do their job where I've been having the problems is with residual slickness um, I just can't coax some good residual slickness out of this and I've really played around with the lather uh, to try and get it there and I just can't I haven't found that the residual slickness is as good as a lot of other soaps out there um, Sterling to give an example is much better residual slickness than this so but that being said I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna finish the shave um, and that pass right there wasn't that bad I didn't really check the residual all that much the slickness was good the cushion was great um, and the post shave is going to be good on this it's been good every single time it's been great um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish shave and I'll be right back guys all right guys had a really nice shave with PAA doppelganger black again this is a, an homage to Dior Sauvage um, <clears throat> so you know the the slickness and the residual slickness um, I did was able to improve it uh, through the second two passes of that shave um, however that massively impacted the uh, cushion uh, in a in big time way um, I found that the best use of the soap is um, it, it impacted the cushion enough that the, in my opinion the best use of the soap for me in my experience is to um, maintain the cushion and and bring it up until just to the point where the cushion starts breaking down and that slickness and residual slickness start really increasing um so with that being said um <clears throat> there are some really outstanding qualities to this this soap um, and there are some qualities that i'm not too crazy about so to, let's get right into uh what we used and then we'll get right into the ratings so we did use today the ico six eighths straight razor give a nice smooth shave we use the 24 millimeter cashmere fan in the excalibur rustics macassar ebony barber handle brush we followed up with a little bit of rose witch hazel some any post shave salve or serum rather that was infused with a little bit of Penhaligon's Halfetti a little bit of a mishmash but it's all good so let's get right into the ratings so loading this soap loads extremely easy so that gets a 10 out of 10 lathering this is where I'm starting to have a little issue because it really for me depends on the type of bristle that is used so the type of brush um, I did not have luck with a natural hair bristle with this soap um, using a uh, synthetic much better lather much less airy um, and was just able to control the lather quite a bit better I don't have that issue with other soaps so lathering I'm gonna knock it down to about a six and a half out of ten um, you guys might be saying no that's a huge knock um, but my feeling is I should be able to grab any brush and be able to pair it with this soap and be able to get a great lather out of it. And I'm just not able to do that with this soap. And that's after seven or eight latherings. So changing the, the, the type of brush out and I'm just, the, the synthetics constantly outperform the, the natural hair brushes with this soap. And it's not the case with all soaps. Most soaps I can get an equal lather with either natural or synthetic so water band nine and a half out of ten it's got a wide water band that does not mean that it needs that much water but it can take that much water it, it can take a lot of water so it's got a really wide water band uh, cushion protection 9.5 out of 10 again this is excellent to elite level um, you can't really get much better cushion than this unless you overhydrate this and then the cushion massively falls off Slickness and glide the in shave you know when you have lather on your face the slickness is very very good So eight and a half out of ten under your slickness and glide residual slickness 
Okay, this is where if you want great cushion and protection, your residual slickness is not gonna be very good. If you want great residual slickness, your cushion and protection is not gonna be very good. So, pick your poison. Um, for this soap, I got better results when the cushion protection was better, so the residual slickness suffered. I'm giving it a six and a half out of 10. Um, stability. Even with as airy a lather as a, I was getting with the natural hair brushes, there was never a point where I thought the soap was going to break down. Uh, so it gets 10 out of 10 for stability. Face feel. Because it's airy, it does not feel quite as silky smooth on the face uh, as other soaps. So it gets a 6 out of 10 for that. Uh, post-shave feel. Very nice. Very nice post-shave moisturizing. Uh, 9 out of 10 for that. Um, when you get into that 9... Nine and a half, ten. There's only a few soaps that really perform that well. Uh, Amy's new soap base does. Uh, Declaration Grooming Icarus base, um, and they all play second fiddle to Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations, which is the only soap in my den that gets a ten out of ten for post shave moisturizing. Um, so it's in good company for post shave moisturizing. Uh, so the performance total. So this is taking all of those metrics, uh, adding them up dividing by the number of uh, metrics, which is nine, and you get 8.38. So it's averaging 8.38, um, which is pretty good. Now you take another vegan soap, um, Wickham. I've actually got that rated at an 8.78. So it's, I, I don't have this rated as high as Wickham. I don't think it's as good a soap, at least not for me. It might be a much better soap for other people. Um, it's just for me, this is not as good a soap. Um, enjoyment factor. Uh, this is probably the most subjective thing out of all of this rating. So if you take anything away from this, take the performance total. Uh, the enjoyment factor is just my personal opinion. How much did I enjoy using this soap? How much did I enjoy the scent? Um, you know, the, everything combined. Um, and honestly, I could take it or leave it. Um, I give it a 0.7, uh, which takes the total score to 5.87. Now, to give you guys a little bit of context, um, so that is, a, a, that is a multiplier on the performance total. So, <clears throat> to give you guys a little bit of context, a lot of people really love Mitchell's Wolf Fat. Mitchell's Wolf Fat, for me, gets a horrible performance score, but the, the, the enjoyment factor on that gets like a 2, but like a point two. So. The total score for Mitchell's Wolf Ad is like a one point something, right? Williams gets an even lower score. Now people love Mitchell's Wolf Ad. I just, I don't, I don't particularly care for it. So, <clears throat> all things being equal, um, the total score of 5.87. Performance total is really what I want you guys to key in on it is an 8.38, 8.39. Um, so, it's a very good performing soap. Um, but is it as good as the tallow soaps? No. Uh, is it as good as what I consider my top vegan soap, which is Wickham? No. Um, but it is a very good soap. Uh, I would put it, quite honestly, um, without, I don't think I've scored Sterling yet, uh, but Sterling, I would imagine, would, would be right in that wheelhouse of the, the low eights. So uh, it's right in that wheelhouse for me. Um, so again, your miles may vary, you might have it rated higher. So I don't want to keep going on and on and on and on. Um, <clears throat> so um, if you agree with me, let me know, uh, either in on the TS, on TSC, www.theshavingcadre.com, um, in the thread for this video, or in the comments section uh, below. Uh, let me know what you think, if you disagree, let me know why. Um, I'm, I'm not going to debate my scores, but I'll have a conversation about it. Um, and uh, like I said, I did give this soap a chance. Uh, I wanted it to do well, but uh, it just didn't perform as well as I was thinking it would. That being said, uh, next video. <laughs> the dollar store razor and the dollar store blades that it came with. So I will be doing the next three shaves with the Assured Razor and the Assured Blades. Um, I will be using as a soap 
Katie's bubbles. Tonsorium. Um, <clears throat> the next video is going to be Sunday, so it'll be Super Bowl Sunday. You'll you'll get it that morning. Um, it'll be my fourth shave on these on this razor or excuse me. I'll finish this and we'll be going to um, we'll be using another razor hopefully my face isn't all torn up from it uh, if it is then we'll, we'll take it from there sorry about that guys ran out of space um, like I was saying I'm obligated to three shades with the assured the assured razor yeah <laughs> um, Again, if it tears my face up, that might change, but I'm going to get the three shaves in with it, and uh, I might film one of them. So you might get a video in between now and then, but on Sunday, I will be doing a full review of Katie's Bubbles Luxury Soap Base um, in the Tonsorium scent. Um, and then following that, I've got a couple other soaps that I'm looking to review, and I want to get your guys... Uh, opinions on which ones you want to see. Um, first is Oz Shaving. I've got um, poly, Polychrome uh, Formula T from WSP. I still have to do a review on that. Um, I've got a couple different scents in Soap Commander that I need to review. So I've got Endurance, which is Old Spice. Or Charisma, which is a melon and citrus. <clears throat> and then I've got a couple others. Um, Captain's Choice Bay Rum. So let me know what you want me to review um, out of those. And we'll, uh, we'll get a line up and you guys will have some sort of schedule where you know what I'm going to be reviewing that week. And uh, you have something to look forward to. So... That being said, check us out, www.theshavingcadre.com. Get involved in the discussions. If you're new there, stop by, introduce yourself in the, uh, the newbie forum, uh, the newcomer forum, and uh, I'll see you there, guys. I'm Dagwood Z from The Shaving Cadre. Peace.